Hi everyone, Austin here with Sunfun Kits. So we're continuing our uh, motorsport trailer project and today we were able to wire up our uh, inverter and batteries. So just we'll start off and kind of explain how everything is. And this is just sort of temporarily set up. We're gonna add some other things, uh, some bus bars and some other things. But for the purposes of this is just to kind of show you the general overview of how things essentially work. So starting from there, that's sort of our battery AC lines. We're using MC cable, six gauge, um, which actually supplies both legs of our breaker box. And this can actually provide the full 6,000 watts because the copper is thick enough. Again, you should always consult your electrician uh, based on how you want to wire it up. We're just going to give you an overview of what we sort of did. The LV6548 supports two solar panel arrays, so that's what we have set up. Uh, one is a four panel array and the other is a three panel array. We have four SFK 260 HP batteries arranged in series, uh, connected with a uh, you know one of our HD plugs. Uh, and again, this is just temporary setup. Eventually, we'll, we'll sort of clean it up. To hold the batteries sort of in place, we're using two-inch angle aluminum, and it was just sort of cut to position everything so that it, it doesn't move. This should be sturdy enough very the weight of the batteries themselves keep them in place so i don't necessarily think you will need to add uh, additional weight so we'll go over to the other side just to show you how the uh, charging works and sort of how the overall system basically behaves all right so here we are, are sort of what is normally the generator cab and we pardon the mess but the concept behind the inverter is is very simple as we said normally this is where you would wire up a gasoline or propane generator and it would provide electricity to your trailer or coach via input here so we're feeding into this and going into our central cabinet and you can get these from Lowe's and, and stuff. And that provides us with a way of supplying power to the entire trailer. So as far as the trailer is concerned, it believes the generator is running. And that's sort of how we're able to provide uh, power. Now, our inverter also has an AC input. And since it's 120 volt based, uh, we need to be able to provide AC input. So this is sort of where this comes to be. Now, we put a 30 amp because we're not really anticipating heavy charging, but this is a way to power your inverter directly. So you can send power to your inverter to help charge your batteries. And if in a situation where you don't have enough solar power, you can actually bring a small generator and power this, and this will power your inverter and run your batteries. If for whatever reason your inverter stops working one day and you have a situation where you have no more power, well, there's basically your standard trailer which will work sort of as a bypass. So if we go up to the front, and that's what we're doing right now, you can basically set this up. And setting up your direct feed will basically bypass your entire inverter. Now that's assuming your trailer has an automatic transfer switch, which most trailers of this class will, which basically means they detect short power so they don't need the generator running. In our case, the generator works as the inverter. So by doing this, you basically have a bypass in case you need it. Or in our situation, we don't really need the inverter batteries, so we just keep the inverter batteries off. Um, so our next thing is basically gonna be setting up the solar panels and that's gonna basically allow us to get solar power and uh, sort of make this whole coach uh, or, or you know fifth uh, gooseneck trailer self-sufficient where 
it, it gets power from the sun and when it's not doing anything it'll uh, just use uh, you know store that extra power um, in the sun fund kits batteries all right so we'll upload that as uh, as as soon as soon the weather gets a little better it's a little cold today so hopefully uh, we get a little a few warmer days and we'll get up there and and do that you, you don't really want to caulk uh, stuff um, you know up when it's really cold because it doesn't stick as well all right thank you